So one of the places where you can go in Australia is Snowy Mountain. And if you have not been to Snowy Mountain, that means you are missing something. So this is the place uh, where we stayed. This is called Puma. Puma is a small town in Australia. So it is uh, a bit far away from Snowy Mountain. It's about a half an hour drive from Snowy Mountain. So if you are coming from Sydney, this comes first and then you move on to Snowy Mountain. You can stay in Puma and then you can move to Snowy Mountain. This is the place uh, where you can find shops, restaurants and it is basically made to uh, for, for people who can stay there. Then you can move on uh, through these roads obviously which you can see beautiful view, absolutely beautiful mesmerizing view and you can move to Snowy Mountain. One thing which is very important that you should be prepared. Uh, you should be prepared with uh, the clothes uh, because uh, like uh, Australia is not a very cold country but when it comes to Snowy Mountain it is quite cold. Um, uh, I'm not comparing it with Canada but uh, you can see the snow here. So this is the start of snow and you are uh, getting closer uh, to Parisher Valley where we were heading to when uh, for the first time. And there are other places as well, uh, like Fredbo for example, we went there after the pressure well, uh, pre Parisher Valley. Uh, so this is a very uh, beautiful place, Parisher Valley, and it, it, the, you don't see snow uh, on the road because it, it was late in the July. If you go in June or early July, you'll find a lot of snow on the road and it gets difficult for you to drive. Uh, uh, for preparation, you have to have those chains for uh, for tires uh, for uh, car tires and you also need to have uh, uh, clothes uh, warm clothes you can buy warm clothes you can rent them uh, from Kuma we bought uh, clothes from Kuma and then we started moving to uh, Parisher Valley uh, beautiful uh, view uh, with snow covered mountains and uh, once you reach there, you can actually feel uh, feel the cold. Uh, probably on the way you might not, but once you are there, this is what Parisville looks like. There's uh, one part of the Snowy Mountain, a beautiful place. You can see a lot of trains, a lot of people. Uh, usually, people visit uh, uh, Snow Snowy Mountain during winter, and winter in Australia is June, July, basically, and all this to certain extent. So uh, this is the actual time when when you should uh, visit a uh, snowy mountain you need to carry these sliders with you if you don't know skiing because these sliders like you can see like people enjoy uh, a lot with these sliders especially people uh, who don't know uh, 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 how to ski uh, there are skiing lessons as well and if you want to learn skiing you can always learn skiing uh, but uh, uh, for the kids it's, this is the safest option because it obviously skiing takes time and it takes uh, uh, a few classes for you to actually understand how to ski so uh, for those people who don't have enough time and have uh, gone there for a day or so they can use these sliders you can uh, these are quite cheap you can buy these from anywhere in australia and then you can uh, take them with you uh, it's for kids for adults for families especially and people enjoy a lot um, this is just one part of uh, uh, Snowy mountain but uh, uh, for me this was the best part because uh, 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 you you are able to slide very easily like uh, I don't know skiing and uh, it was uh, I didn't have enough time to learn skiing uh, and uh, pay for it uh, I'll try to uh, this is this is this is the place uh, where uh, when we were coming back from Parisher Valley and we were going towards the city uh, 
I'll show in my next video I'll share uh, what we did in Threadbow when we stayed there. Threadbow is another part of Snowy Mountain. So Snowy Mountain is like uh, like uh, a big place and then it has different valleys. So see you until uh, next time uh, for the, in the next videos.